Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see about introduction to compiler design. Generally, users or programmers instruct their ideas to the computer using programming languages. Computers will not understand the natural language. It can understand only binary or machine language which is in the form of zeros and ones. Programmers will write their programs using variety of high level programming languages. Therefore, it requires to translate these high level programming languages into machine language so that it can be understandable to the machine. The program or software that performs this translation work is called as translator program or translator software. The program written in high level language is called as source program and the program written in machine language is called as object program. This diagram illustrates the concept of translator program. It takes the source program as input and generates the object program as the output. This translator can be further divided into several types. Now let us see the types of translators. There are three types of translators namely assembler, compiler and then interpreter. So first we will see about assembler. Assembler is the translator which translates the assembly language code into the machine language code. So this diagram illustrates the concept. So a uh, user will write the code in the form of assembly language then it is translated into the machine language by using assembler. Assembly language is the low level language where we use the symbols called as mnemonics in the place of machine codes. So these codes are called as mnemonic codes. The next type of translator is the compiler. The compiler translates the entire program or entire source code into the machine code as a whole. This task is performed in two steps. In the first step, the compiler reads the source program and then converts it into the object code. In this step, if there is any syntax error, it is reported to the user so that the user can correct the errors. In the second step, it executes the object program and displays the results on the basis of the input data given by the user. So this diagram illustrates the concept of compiler. So compiler takes as input high level language and the producers as output the low level language. So here source code is given to the compiler and if any errors are there, it is reported to the user. Otherwise, it is converted to object file. The object file further takes the input from the user and generates the output. So this is the concept of compiler. Next is the interpreter. Interpreter reads one line of the program written in the high level language and then converts it into the machine language and executes it then displays the results immediately. So the difference between the compiler and the interpreter is that compiler converts the entire source code into the object code and provides the latest results. But interpreter converts the source program into line by line object program and then displays the instant results. So line by line execution is interpreter. The whole code execution is done by the compiler. So this diagram illustrates the concept of interpreter. So input is high level language, output is low level language. So for example, we can take Python as the source code as input and it is given to the interpreter and whenever the input is given to the particular uh, line of code, immediately the output is generated and if any errors are there, it is reported to the user. So this is the concept of interpreter. Next is the types of compiler. So we have three types single pass compiler, two pass compiler and multi pass compiler. First we will see about single pass compiler. So in single pass compiler source code is directly transformed into the machine code. For example, in Pascal the source code will be directly transformed into the machine code. So no intermediate representation only source code will be the input to the compiler and it directly transform it to the target code or machine code. Two pass compiler here we have two passes, one is front end and another one is back end. In front end, the source code is transformed into the intermediate representation and this intermediate representation is given as input to the back end which generates the target code or machine code. So the two pass compiler simplifies the retargeting process that is it allows multiple front ends that is for one back end we can have multiple front ends. So back end can be fixed and then front end can be changed as necessary. So this uh, concept is called as retargeting process. 
So here is the diagram which illustrates the concept of two pass compiler. So source code is given to the front end and the front end generates the intermediate representation which is given to the back end which in turn generates the target code. Next last type of compiler is multipass compiler. The multipass compiler processes the source code multiple times. So it divides the large program into multiple small programs and then processes them. It also develops the multiple intermediate codes. And all of these multiple uh, passes takes the output of the previous phase as an input. So therefore, it requires the less memory and it is also known as wide compiler. So this is the diagram illustrating the concept of multipass compiler. So source code is given to front end and then that is uh, transforming uh, the intermediate uh, representation and uh, takes it to the middle end, which in turn gets the intermediate representation which is given to the back end and finally a machine code is generated. So multiple intermediate representations can be generated in the multi pass compiler and if any errors are there that is reported to the user during compilation. So that is all about multi pass compiler. So thus we have seen about introduction to compiler in this uh, lecture. Thank you.